easy, what's good? It's Alexander here from alexander.com. Right, thank you for downloading, the, downloading this um, this audio. Yeah, this is basically a bit of a stream of consciousness for today. Um, this is just something which came to my mind and I thought it'd be interesting to, to kind of share this um, share this idea with you. And I want to do this a little bit more consistently, just basically be giving you audios, little tips, little advice about um, just making a name for yourself and music and how you can kind of get yourself out there. And, um, you know, I've been doing music for a long time. I've been doing music production for about 14 years and I've been in the quote unquote industry for about nine years, I'd say. And, you know, I've, I've done DJing, um, I've done recording, done some performances, not done too many performances, but I've done loads of music videos. Um, I've shot music videos, um, I've DJed everywhere, played in clubs, you know what I'm saying? I've had releases, I've had vinyls, I've made music videos. Um, I know people are fucking famous now. Um, you know, I've, I've been around, man, you know, and I know, what, I know what the mindset is like for a lot of aspiring artists um, and people who just aspire to kind of get that recognition. So, um, so generally, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit qualified to give some advice. You know, I also work in the studio as well professionally. I've worked with tons of, like, um, artists just kind of producing for them. Um, some projects have been released, some haven't. But um, what I'm saying is, I've, you know, I've been around, man. I've, I've seen a bit now. Um, but I'm always trying to get to the next level and, you know, obviously make make my business successful to the best way I can. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, the whole idea about these audios is we have a little talk and we just, you know, we discuss some ideas. And um, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim to know, you know, I don't know, like, the, the grand truth of anything, you know what I mean? Especially in the music industry, things are constantly changing. Trends are changing. Ways to promote yourself is changing. Um, but... You know, so I think you've got to kind of, you've got to keep an edge, you've got to keep up to date with these things. And more, most importantly, just don't stress yourself out. You've got to do music because you love doing music. You know what I mean? You've got to share, you've got to share the message that um, that's true to you. Don't try and be anyone else but yourself. And that's one of the best ways as well to kind of, to get out there. You know, if you're just, if you're being a carbon copy of um, all the art, other artists who are big at the moment, no one's going to give a shit about you. They're going to give a shit about the person that you're copying, but not you. You've got to be yourself. And that's the beautiful thing about music. It's um, it's it's not just a process of expressing yourself, but you're also finding and creating yourself in a weird way. That's kind of paradoxical, but you know, you're going down in your own, your own path, and you're really, you're really, you're really creating something. You're really cultivating yourself. You know, you're really carving something special. You know, you're really honing yourself, and it's 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 nice because people feel it when they're around you. They know that you're on you're on this thing, <clears throat> and you're you know you're redeveloping this kind of. Um, redeveloping yourself, people can feel it, man. It's uh, it's nice. Anyway, what I was going to say, um, I've got a little theory. It's called the 12 months, 12 music videos theory, all right? Now, again, you don't have to take this as gospel. Um, this is just food for thought, really. But um, it occurred to me that in this day and age, now there's a lot of people out there trying to become artists or trying to cultivate fan bases and trying to just do this uh, music thing, right? And... Because of the fact that there's more music out there, but the, the disposable nature of it has kind of generally increased because the access to it has become so much. Now, I think as a result, um, making music videos is probably more powerful, is more powerful at the moment, you know? When you're matching the visuals with the audio, generally you're going to embed yourself in your fan base's mind a lot easier because, you know, you've got two mediums there. You've got the visuals and the audio. Um, because, like, say, for example... Yeah, not just that, but, like, say, for example, you go on SoundCloud. I mean, there's tons of people out there. You know, you listen to one of their songs. It might be all right, might not. Then click next one, might not. But generally, with a music video, you've got, like... Uh, um, people, your fans have got more to inter interface with. They've got more to kind of look at and they go, oh, and they can kind of get you get to know you better. They can kind of feel your energy more. Do you know what I'm saying? And they... Um, and it's it's uh, to me that's just a better way I think to kind of um, to kind of promote yourself. You know, it's obviously as well as you know doing live performances and actually paying for promotion. And these are things that I'll, I'll be getting into in other audios. But what I'm saying is, my theory is twelve music videos for twelve months. So what this entails, right, is you get your beat, okay, preferably from Alexander.com, you know, <laughs> but you get your beat, right? Um, you download it, you, know, you buy your beat. You write to it, you record to it, you get it mixed and mastered, and then you do your video. You put it out. Now, generally to write to a song, I mean, for most people, it's gonna what, take a, 
couple of hours, you know? If like the more experienced you are, the more the more quicker it takes. You know, some people might take a day, some people might take a couple of hours. Point is you write your song to your beat. That's taking no time at all. The next step is you record to onto the beat. Now you might have a little setup, you might have a microphone of yours, or you might have to go to a recording studio to do this. And again, you know, this might take a couple of hours, right? Now you get the, uh, the vocals mixed, so obviously the, the audio engineer in the studio could mix your vocals for you, or you could do it yourself um, if you've got more knowledge. If you've got knowledge on that, now I'll be doing some um, videos on how to mix vocals, so um, they'll be coming soon. But once you get your vocals mixed um, onto your beat, then you get the beat mastered, and the mastering process just makes it. It's like the cherry on top of the pie. It's the final thing. It boosts up the general levels, and it just makes the track sound fuller, right? Um, now, to be honest, <coughs> there are easy ways to do it. You can just put something called an adaptive limiter on um, your final audio. And because I think, t to be honest, I would advise you get a professional to master your track. But some people, if you haven't got much money, you could just do it yourself, really. And most of the fans aren't really going to notice. But all of that aside, so the process is you get your beat, you write to it, you record to it, you get it mastered, and then you shoot a video, right? Now, when you shoot a video, some people are doing them for like, what, $100 in the UK. That's kind of 80 British pounds, I think. Maybe a little bit more. But it's really not that expensive in the grand scheme of things. You know what I mean? That's, that's what, a day's work, two days work or something, you know? You get, so you've done your video, and then you just put it out at the end of the month. Yeah, right? So you could put it on your YouTube channel, or alternatively, you could be trying to get the more popular YouTube channels to put them out. Um, it's pretty good to maybe at the beginning to get popular YouTube channels to kind of be putting them out so you can start to build up your fan base and then you want to be directing them to your website or your own YouTube channel. But again, this is stuff we'll be going into like in different audios. But if you think about it, if you break down the whole process to get the beat, to write to it, to record it, and then get it mixed and mastered and to do a video to it, it's a very, it's a very streamlined and very simple process. And I think a lot of people seem to think it's a big hoorah, like they've got to be up every day grinding, writing millions of songs and shit. And yeah, definitely, you know, if you want to write millions of songs, then be do your thing, man. But I'm just saying, really, if you want to be generating that buzz quick, quickly, I'll just say be just do one song, do a video, put it out at the end of the month, rinse and repeat the process, right? Because that way, again, people are seeing your video, they're, they're liking the song, they're seeing your visual, and they're starting to warm up to you as an artist, and you're starting to embed yourself in their fucking subconscious mind. And that's when it gets deep. That's when it gets deep. But we're not gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to go into that too much now. But you see, you see what I'm saying? And I, I think a lot of people, you know, they're sitting there for months. They're writing all these songs saying, I'm going to write my album. I'm going to write my album and all this. And um, like, to be honest, time's passing by. You're just in there. You're getting aggravated. Your ego's kind of getting aggravated a little bit because you're not getting that recognition you feel you deserve. But there's no way you can because you've got no material out there. But if you do one video a month trust me this is a good this is a good idea now again nothing's gospel i don't know the whole truth but from my experience and from people i've i've known and i've i've got like 60 music videos you know some of them people think are shit some of them people love and um but the point is i've done this man you know i've done a lot of fucking music videos and i know what it takes you know um but you should also pay for promotion or try and get them on a good youtube channel as well or pay for promotion but the point is um, one music video a month and try and get that out there for that month. Um, I would I would say maybe look into, into paid for promotion as well, paid promotion, but this is not this is something I'll get into another, um, into another audio because obviously I don't want to kind of bombard you too much, right? But one video a month. Now, obviously, in terms of your beat, um, you you might you obviously you might be thinking, oh, you want to work with a producer, or create an original track, or you could lease a beat, yeah, or you know you could do. I could I create exclusives myself. I lease beats as well. Now you got to understand that if you're trying to if you're trying to get someone to produce for you, all right, and you're going on SoundCloud and you're hitting up producers saying let's work and all this kind of stuff. No producer who's worth it worth has some has some has has some sort of level of skill, which is not, notable level of skill is not really going to work with you for free, right? And if they are, they'll probably take a long time, okay? Now, if you just lease a beat, you'll get the beat instantly, 
and then you can make your song instantly. Now the chances are that someone else is gonna release that beat and you're gonna hear their song as well are generally very, very slim. So I wouldn't really worry about that, right? Um, alternatively, you can get the track exclusive, uh, the beats exclusive, and that means that will get taken off the store. Someone or some people might have released that beat before it gets taken off exclusively. But the point is you get more rights once you buy a track exclusively, an instrumental. And also you get all the stems, which means that when, you, when it comes to the mixing process of your song, your vocals can be mixed just that tiny bit better into the song, right? But if you're on a budget, I would just say go, lease a beat, preferably alexzen.com, and then you can record to it, get your vocals mixed and mastered, and then shoot a video to it. Now to the next stage, right? When you're doing your video, I personally, again, this is just personal opinion, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't be too elaborate because I think some people, and this is, I was talking to a friend about this the other day, but some people, they got these elaborate videos, spending loads of money on fucking models, champagne, or all sorts of props and shit, all sorts of like crazy, crazy stuff, yeah? And yes, that could work to some degree, but also it's a bit, it's a bit, um, what's the word? It can be just a little bit aggravating, you know, getting all this stuff organised, you know, some people can't turn up, some people don't want to turn up, um, someone can't make it, or um, what's the word? Maybe um, the, the place you want to shoot it at, maybe they're trying to charge you too much money. I would say keep your video simple maybe to begin with. You know what I mean? Focus on making a banging song, focus on making an excellent song, do your video summer, keep it simple, maybe do it out on the street, do it in a white room, I'm not sure, but don't go over the top, man, because what I'm saying is one video a month, and what you've got to realise is once you start to build a name for yourself, once you start to build up momentum, the opportunities to make more elaborate videos, in my opinion, are going to are gonna arise. So say, for example, you're starting to become more popular. The guy who's trying to charge you, say, 200 fucking dollars or pounds, whatever, to use his little club to film in will say, oh, actually, no, do it for free, man. I love your music. You can perform here for free. But what I'm saying is sometimes an artist who's coming into the game falls, for the, falls into the trap of thinking, especially if you're an independent artist, remember, you haven't got that much money, right? Well, I presume you don't. You know, you're working a job and all this stuff and you're doing this on the side. You haven't got much money. You don't want to be... Um, just splashing out straight away. Because what if you end up spending like fucking a thousand pounds on a video? You know, of all these all these props and all this shit and all these models and swing pools and stuff, yeah? And you get 500 views. That's a fucking waste of time. You know what I mean? Whereas you could just do a video out on the street, just you doing your thing, wherever you are, by the road, in a park, on, on, your, on your block, I don't know, wherever, wherever, like, you know, by the seaside, whatever makes you happy, yeah? But... That could get 500 views as well. That could get 1,000 views. Concentrate on the content and the music first. Make sure you make amazing music that people can relate to, which you feel great about. And then um, as things go by, more people are going to help you make, uh, are going to help your movement. We'll probably help you make these better videos. We'll want to feature in your videos and stuff, but just don't stress yourself out, man. All right? Because remember, when you're nobody and nobody gives a shit, yeah? But once you're somebody, quote unquote, and you're getting this, you're getting the views and you're getting popular and people want to see you perform, everyone gives a shit, everyone wants to be your buddy, everyone wants to be around you. And I'm not saying that in a cynical way, I'm just saying that's the facts. So again, stay simple and don't stress yourself out. If, as I say, if you implement this theory of mine, this 12 videos um, a month, uh, 12 videos, 12 months, one video a month, then not only by the end of the year, you've got the equivalent of like an album in videos, but you've, you know, you've done a lot of work, man. You've got a lot to show for it. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe if you're focused, you could two, do two videos a month. Imagine that. You'd have 24 music videos at the end of the year. And you didn't stress yourself out. You weren't sitting there grinding away in a fucking dark little room by yourself. You just downloaded, or at least, say, two beats. Yeah? $35 each. That's nothing, really. You wrote, you wrote to it, you recorded to it, got a track mixed and mastered. That whole process will take a couple of days, maybe one day or whatever, I don't know, it depends on your engineer. And then you do a video, a simple video, and then you release it. You can put it on your YouTube channel, or you can get a more popular YouTube channel, and then you can drive the traffic to your YouTube channel or your homepage. But again, more on that in a different audio. So yeah, I think that's um, enough on that, that subject for today. But think about it. Again, I don't know the whole truth, but 
the models are always changing. Um, when I say models, the the ways um, how the industry works, it's always constantly changing. It's always changing with technology. Yeah, things which were which worked say ten years ago in music aren't really applicable to now. Right. So this is just a theory, and I I reckon if you tried it, you would see some results. And after a year, if you release once you've done your twelve videos, and after a year. If you're not seeing some sort of kind of success, or you're not getting a kind of, you're not starting to get the recognition that you feel you you um you you deserve, then I'd be quite surprised, man. Because twelve videos is quite a lot, and one year, um, in the grand scheme of things, is not a lot, really, is it? You know, if it doesn't work, then you could just change up the strategy. So think about it: twelve videos, twelve months doesn't cost much. Doesn't cost much. Um, isn't and isn't stressful. It's just a very simple process. Okay, so one last time, you lease your beat, you record on the beat, right? After you've written to it, you get it mixed and mastered, and now that track's finished. You shoot a video to it, and then you put it out. It's not a difficult process at all. All right, so let's get on it, and I reckon you can do it, man. You can get to where you want to get to, but just be persistent. Don't drain yourself. Be just be persistent. Don't stress yourself out. Don't cry that you're not where you want to be. Don't bend down for no one. You know, don't beg it. Don't beg to be to, to for anyone to bring you in. Just do your do your thing. Do your thing. Do what makes you happy, and you'll see how the magic of life unfolds and how people will want to be want to be a part of your thing, part of your movement. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't bend down for anyone. Don't compromise yourself. Right? There's no. You don't have to do that shit. You know. It's better to walk alone. It's better to walk alone being the truest you than it is to be walking in a crowd just being a fucking sheep. Do you know what I mean? I know that wasn't that poetic, but you get what I'm saying. Stick true to your to your message. 12 videos, 12 months. Simple. All right, so I'm out of here. It's Alex Zen, your producer. Yeah? Feel free to tweet me, email me anytime. Contact at alexzen.com or tweet me at alexzen. You know, it's easy to get in touch with me. And uh, I'm going to be in touch very soon. We're going to have more little talks, more little audios. All right, so wherever you are, if you're going to work, if you're just out and about listening to this audio, have a good day, have a good evening. And um, life is fucking good, man. Sorry for, the, for, sorry for swearing, but you know it is. All right, so I'm out of here. Alexzen, alexzen.com. Get your beats. All right, so take it easy. Peace.